Hey there, my good friend, language is 666. How you doing, my friend? I don't even know your name, man. Maybe you don't know mine either, uh, either. My name is Nelson, just remember Nelson Mandela. So I decided to make this video for you, good stuff to learn Finnish. So I already told, uh, told you about Teach Yourself Finnish, that's what I used, it's pretty nice. And then I revised all the dialogues from there and... Uh, I revised the old dialogues and um, I kind of took a look at the grammar from the dialogues. I tried to understand the grammar from the dialogues and and studied uh, a little bit of words and from there. Then make sure you you get your hands on um, Finnish and essential grammar to master grammar. And then other stuff pretty nice to learn Finnish. Well, you have Asimil. You have Hesimil, the thing is in French, I don't know how was, was your French doing. My French is doing more or less, but it's good because um, um, I'm not using it yet, but I'm already using some um, some Hesimil books in, in French. Uh, this one was sent to me by my good friend Peter Brown, you can see. And uh, I believe it's a good book. And I will use it later on, not now. Uh, now I want to learn vocabulary, so I made a list of words and 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 I made uh, sentences with those words. And now I'm memorizing vocabulary, basically. <coughs> then I will use definitely uh, this Zessimil course here. And I told you about the good dictionary, but first of all, I'm gonna show you the bad dictionary. So if you come across this dictionary, dictionary. You should start running because it's a bad dictionary. The good thing about this dictionary is the small phrase book at the end. And it's available in many languages. You can probably find this dictionary, Finnish, uh, Polish. That's the, the other thing good about this dictionary. It's available in Turkish, it's available, I don't know, in Spanish. Uh, this one's in Portuguese. And I believe it's available in, in Polish too. So that's the good part of it. Uh, and the other good part of it is the the small phrase book at the end, but it lacks a lot. It lacks a lot in in words. So just just check this out, for instance. It lacks a lot. So this sucks. <laughs> this is the real deal. This is the real deal. This dictionary for me it's the best dictionary I've come across. Seventy five thousand words inside, and it has a lot of words in here. And then it has a lot of um, definitions, as you guys can, as you guys can see. As you can see, uh, same word it defines uh, is defined uh, in all that it applies. And then it has a lot of expressions here, including colloquial expressions and even slang. Man, it has everything in here. So you got this word, and then you got the words derived from there. Um, as you can see, I would like to, to find something more, um, okay, uh, let's see, the word Vaikya, difficult, and then you have some, uh, some examples, some examples of some sentences, some, uh, some sentences containing that word, and then you have also, um, you have also, Uh, words deri derived uh, that the uh, that uh, oof. words that 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 that, uh, that are alike. Uh, you see, so you have here sisin the most intimate, and then sisimasan in your intimate or something like that. And then you have an example, and then uh, another example. For instance, uh, that's the good thing of it. Um, uh, you you check a word and you come across an, a lot of other similar words in here. So this dictionary is pretty 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 good. And then uh, a phrase book. You got this Berlitz phrase book for Finnish. It's pretty nice. It's okay. It has a lot of words in here. Not so many grammar, but has a lot of words. Has a lot of expressions and. And it's nice, it's a nice one. Uh, once you need to brush up your finish, uh, you can start studying from here. So, this is it my friend. 
and see you, man.